thank you for joining us. And now I will turn it over to our presenter for tonight, Ms. Angel Hogard, our Cumberland County Schools Masterful Web Manager. Thank you, Angel, for joining us tonight. Thank you for having me. As Joaquinia said, my name is Angel Hogard. I am the CCS Web Manager, which means that I'm responsible for managing the main CCS website, as well as working with the web managers of all 137 department and school websites. Our goal is to ensure that all of our sites are informative tools that are not only ADA compliant, but are also easily navigated for our students, our families, and our community stakeholders. Throughout the presentation, I have prepared some recordings to help us go through each area of the website. However, we will pause after each to answer any questions that you might have and just put your questions in the chat and we'll make sure that we address them as we go. Next slide, please. With the same web address, www.ccs.k12.nc.us, Cumberland County Schools began 2021 with a complete redesign of all of our websites. In alignment with priority four of our district strategic plan, which calls for di diverse communications and marketing strategies to engage parents and community stakeholders in the educational process, the new website helps facilitate improved communications across the district. The larger graphics and responsive design is featured on all of our websites. This enables everyone to get the information they need on the go. Another new feature is allowing the district's officials to share time sensitive alerts, such as school closures, to all of our sites at one time. So, first, we're going to take a look at the main CCS site. Next slide, please. And we're going to go ahead and play a short video. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the main CCS website. At the top of the website, you will find the district's announcements. And just below that, you will find our channel bar. That begins with the About Us. About Us has information about our district to include our Board of Education, calendars, the CCS mission, vision, core values, strategic priorities, and even Office of the Superintendent. Next, we have our curriculum, which has information about our high school and middle school course selection guides and departments that offer district level programs for our students. Our departments house the entire directory of CCS departments that will link to their homepage for more information for any specific department. If you're interested in becoming a CCS Premier Professional, Careers will offer you information about our employment opportunities as well as a direct link to the CCS Human Resources Department. Community is where you'll find information about ways our community partnerships can help build student success. This also includes information about community engagement opportunities within our schools. Our employees have a section dedicated to their needs for easy access to all of their needed resources as well. And lastly, our families section has compiled information to support the education of their children. This is where you will find information such as report card schedules, calendars, and many other links that you may need. Below that, you will find our schools. Once you click on that, you will be able to search for our schools based on elementary, middle, or high. You 
you can also do a search within our website. Our site also allows the ability to be translated in over 100 languages through the use of Google Translate. Next, you will find our large images, which is our multimedia gallery, which features our district initiatives and highlights accomplishments within our district. The global icon bar offers users links to some of the district's most popular pages, and they are prominently displayed in this large yellow bar. We're going to go over those a little bit more in detail in a minute. Scrolling beneath our global icons, you'll find the district's headlines with a more button to view any of our archived posts. Just below that, we have our Did You Know section. And next, you will find our featured video along with our stakeholder links that are also found in the blue channel bar at the top of the page. The upcoming events shows all of our near future events that are offered for our families and community, as well as a view calendar link to open the calendar and view each month in its entirety. For added exposure, some of the drop down menus and global icon links can also be found in our quick links. And next to our quick links, you will have our live social media timelines for Facebook and Twitter. At the very bottom of our page in our footer, you will have the CCS's contact information, resource links, and links to all of CCS's social media platforms. So as you can see, the new look and feel of our website is more user-friendly and our most sought after topics and websites can be accessed in multiple ways. So as promised, next, now we're going to take a look at our global icons. Next slide, please. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the main CCS website. At the top of the website, you will find the district's announcements. And just below that, you will find our channel bar. That begins with the About Us. About Us has information about our district to include our Board of Education, calendars, the CCS mission, vision, core values, strategic priorities, and even Office of the Superintendent. Next, we have our curriculum. Angel, is that the right slide? One more slide. There we go. Okay, perfect. These are our global icons. Before we leave the CCS website, let's take a closer look at our global icons. The global icons are located in mid-section below the multimedia gallery in a large yellow strip. The first one we have is our Cumberland Family Academy. Clicking on that will bring you to the Cumberland Family Academy website You'll be able to watch sessions that are available on demand from previous recorded sessions, as well as scroll down and see the full catalog. Next, we have our school reentry portal with all of our need to know information about our return to in person learning in Cumberland County Schools. You have buttons throughout the page for quick links to need to know information, as well as resource videos 
and our Frequently Asked Questions document. Next, we have a link for our breakfast and lunch menus. These menus are updated monthly and are separated by elementary, middle, and high. Then we have our Board of Education, where you can learn more about our Board of Education members, as well as upcoming meetings. Next, we have transportation with an overview of bus safety, as well as how to become a bus driver in Cumberland County Schools. After transportation, we have enrollment. Enrollment can done, be done online using the online student enrollment website. You also have a link for all of our student assignment forms that you will need for enrolling your child in Cumberland County Schools. Each year, our student code of conduct is updated and that link will be placed here as well. Next, we have our Say Something Reporting tool, which allows anonymous reporting of safety concerns. Lastly, we have our PowerSchool Parent Portal. Our Parent Portal allows parents and family members easy access to student assignments, grades, and attendance. And on this page, you also have a link to the Portal login page. Our global icon bar is another way to access some of our most popular pages. Our goal is to be consistent. So the global icon bar will be the same across all of our websites. However, there will be some instances where the global icon bar may be different on the main CCS site from the school sites. But for majority of the instances, they will be the same across the district. Next slide, please. Before we leave the CCS website, let's take a closer look at our global Going back to the top of our page where our family's mega menu is located, this allows information to be accessed from the school's district services and resources. These are resources that are most frequented by families. This is where you will find links for our board approved calendars, a directory of our schools with their contact information, prime time, and even what you need to know for enrolling your child in Cumberland County Schools. You will also see that some of the items here are located in other places on the website. We feel that placing certain items in multiple locations makes it easier for them to be found. Next slide, please. If you still can't find what you're looking for, the department's channel allows you to view the entire directory of Cumberland County Schools. They are listed alphabetically, and once selected, you can view an overview of a specific department, what they're responsible for, along with their contact information. This is to include their mailing address, their phone, and their fax numbers. If you need to reach a specific person within that department, you can utilize the Meet the Team page for their staff directory. This provides you with an email, an address, and a phone number for the best way to contact them. Next slide, please. This is a quick map of a department homepage. For consistency, again, our departments are set up in a similar manner. All of them will have their department name displayed. They will have a quick links to their resources, and they will have an image with an overview of what their department is responsible for. They will also have their contact information displayed on their homepage. The active social media timeline will be either be that of the department or it will be that of Cumberland County Schools. Some departments will have their most frequently asked questions present for families to be able to access those as well. So we're going to go back to the main site and talk about our calendar. 
Next slide. All of the district's events that are open to the public are displayed on our calendar, which automatically populates to the main CCS website in the upcoming events. The most recent ones will be in the upcoming events and you'll be able to click on the view calendar to view the month in the entirety. One of the new features of the new redesign is the ability to share district events to the school websites. So now that we've looked at the main site, we're gonna take a quick peek at a school website. Now that we've looked at the district site, we're gonna take a minute and look at a school website. The school websites are set up to be consistent across the district. Starting at the top, you will find a channel bar. Each channel has a drop-down menu that is pertinent to either the district or to the individual school. This is where you will find information such as your administration and your staff directory, activities that the school has such as athletics choice programs or clubs, items that have to do with parents and community, quick links for our students, and a link to the school's calendar. Next, you will have the school's name, and you can toggle between schools by using the school feature to search by elementary, middle, or high. You can also do a search within the school website or have the option to use Google Translate. Next, you will have your multimedia gallery, which highlights specific events to the school or district initiatives. As we scroll down a little bit farther, you will find the global icon that is identical to the one located on the district website. It has the same quick links Moving down just a little bit farther, each school has a welcome message for their families, along with their homepage news. Next, we have our upcoming events. This is where you will find their calendar of events that are offered either district-wide or specific to the school along with a link to view the entire calendar. As we scroll down a little bit farther, each school has select quick links that they have offered for their families, along with their social media timeline. Moving down to the footer, you will find the school's logo or mascot image along with their contact information to include their phone number. We also have resource links that are static across all of our district and school websites, along with connect with us links that will link you to the district's social media platforms. Lastly, at the very bottom of every site, you will have a link to the district homepage. As I said, our goal is consistency. That way, no matter what site you are on, whether it be the district site, a department site, or a school site, you'll be able to find things a little bit more easier. On the school sites, the main differences that you will find will be in their drop-down menus. Next slide, please. Now that we've looked at as you can see, our websites have an abundance of information and resources available to you. Another way to stay up to date with the latest happenings in Kerman County Schools is to follow us on social media. All of our social media links are located on the footer of each of our websites. Through YouTube, you will be able to find all of the previously recorded Cumlin Family Academy sessions, coffee conversations, as well as our archived virtual board meetings. 
We also have Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter handles that you can follow as well. We wanna hear from you. So tag us with your good news. You can send it directly to our department at goodnews at ccs.k12.nc.us. Good news has multiple ways to be shared for others to show how amazing our district is because we are Cumberland strong. So if you have any questions, we would gladly like to take those. <laughs>